yes guys welcome to our next femitech video tutorial now for today's episode i'm going to show you how to disassemble the Toshiba Satellite c850 d laptop <coughs> now before you start removing the screws first thing you have to do is of course remove the battery <coughs> so here the battery is removed then I'm going to start to go ahead in terms of removing this cover here so I'm going to remove this first cover here this is what cover your hard drive I think and the memory <coughs> alright <coughs> next I'm just going to remove the memories and one stick in this one and of course our drive our drive and memory now out <coughs> next component i'm going to remove is the cdr dvd drive so this screw here actually secure the dvd drive remove the screw now i'm going to pull the drive, the drive out so the DVD drive is out <coughs> now these screws now are going to take them out now whenever you are moving these screws the best thing is to, is to start at one end and of course make a complete circle <coughs> so that you don't miss any of the screws that first one out Yes, so I'm almost through in terms of removing all of the screws from this Toshiba Satellite C850D. Just double checking that I remove all of the screws. Now it seems like I've removed all the screws <coughs> from the bottom section now i have one left over here all right so that seems to be the last one so i'm going to turn it over now once it's over the next thing now for me is to remove um, the keyboard here now in order for you to remove the keyboard now you have to find some clips now there is one of the clip under the enter key there you have a next one under the zero you have to be careful ensure that they don't fly the damage key one under the left arrow there and there is another one under the alt key you have a next one under the space then you have one between the alt and the home button here Then up above the escape key, there is also another one. Right, so the four, so the clips that you have to fly to remove the keyboard, you have one under the enter key there, under the zero, the left arrow, and then one also under this alt key, next one under the space. One between the Alt key and the O, and the next one under Control. So you have to fly those. Once you fly those clips, then you will actually push the keyboard upward, and then you can remove the keyboard. And you have to be very careful to fly these this clip here. The security ribbon for the keyboard. You don't want to tear it. That will damage the ribbon. 
so the keyboard is now removed and the next thing is to get this entire top cover off and there are some screws at the top there that you need to remove so I'm going to remove all these screws So this is the final screw, so all these screws are removed now, now once you remove all the screw, just remove these ribbons by releasing the clips, this one is for the touch pad and this one to the right here is for the power button it seems. So once you do all of that, it just Turn the laptop on the back and remove the back section here. I've gone ahead and removed the cover so it's now time for me to remove the motherboard. Now I'm going to unplug all of the cables that actually attach to the board itself. So this is what connect one of the speaker here. So I'm going to remove it. Um, this is what gives the motherboard power. So this is what connects to the power adapter section. So that's out. Uh, here, this is the screen. This is what connects the screen. So we're moving that. This is what connects the fan that cool the processor <coughs> so that cable is out um, just double checking ensuring that all the cables are disconnected from the motherboard itself so once you have done all of that the next thing is to remove the screws that keep the motherboard in place so I'm going to remove this screw that actually seems like this one all on the fan there now I've actually gone ahead and pre remove some of these screws so I, that's why here is not remove i don't need to remove all the screws because i've already gone ahead and um, remove most of the screws so once you remove all the screws here then you can just simply take out the motherboard from your computer so guys this is how you remove the motherboard from your Toshiba satellite of course it is a c85 Zero. 3850D um, model.